it guys, Vicky here from Underground Tattoos. So today we are going to dive into the world of piercing bumps, how to tell the difference between them and have some home remedies in order to help improve them. So there are different types of bumps. These can be keloids, granulomas, which are also known as hypertrophic scarring or irritation bumps. So here are the differences and how to tell them apart. Right, so firstly, we have irritation bumps. These are tiny and can appear due to the trauma. For example, sleeping on your piercing or using an incorrect cleaning solution. This can also be caused by the length of the jewellery. Sometimes the jewellery will need to be downsized. Secondly, keloids. So keloids are raised overgrowth of scar tissue, but these are also genetic. So you will probably know that you are prone to them before getting one come up. They also have their own blood supply, so you will be able to feel any pain that comes from them. And thirdly, granulomas, which are also known as hypertrophic scarring, as previously stated. Now, these are small reddish bumps that can appear around about a month after the piercing, and they often bleed and ooze plasma. So once we've identified the bump, now what we need to be able to do is address it appropriately. So the most once we've identified the bump, then we can address it appropriately. So number one, always maintain good hygiene with your piercings. Gently clean the piercing with a saline solution or a ready-made piercing solution that's recommended by your piercer. Now, let's discuss some remedies that have been gaining traction. Many piercing enthusiasts have turned to a thing called piercing discs, and basically what these are, a small flat disc made of silicone. These are attached onto the piercing against the lump, and they basically stop any irritants from hitting the piercing, and they also add pressure to the bump in order to then to make it alleviate and be reduced in size. Now what we need to do is we need to find out what solution you have been using in order to clean your piercing up until you get the bump because sometimes it can be the wrong solution for you. So do make sure you discuss with your piercer what it is that you have been using. So other remedies can include tea tree oil, especially for irritation bumps and hypertrophic scarring. It's known for its anti-inflammatory properties and always remember to dilute it with a carrier oil before you use it, especially if you have sensitive skin. Now another one you can use is a chamomile tea bag and what you need to do is you need to bathe the tea bag into boiling water. Again this means that the water is sterilised and then you take the tea bag out of the water and you sponge the tea bag onto the piercing. There is a natural anti-inflammatory in the chamomile which helps the piercing and also the heat from the tea bag will draw out any fluid that may be trapped in the entry and exit wounds. And with the chamomile tea bag, bathe it onto your piercing for between 30 seconds and one minute continually without removing it. Please also remember to allow the tea bag to cool down before you put it onto the piercing so you don't burn yourself or your fresh piercing. But whilst these remedies can be beneficial, always be cautious, okay? If your bump worsens or shows signs of an infection such as pain, swelling or yellowish discharge, please see your piercer immediately or if need be, see a doctor. So in conclusion, while bumps are common piercing issues with proper aftercare, they can often be resolved. Always seek professional advice if you are unsure. And also guys, please remember when you are touching your piercings, wash your hands before and after. And also, whilst you are doing the cleaning process with your piercing with whatever remedy works for you, always make sure you tighten your balls on your piercings to make sure they don't come loose and you unfortunately lose the piercing. Okay, perfect guys. So if you've liked what you've heard, please give us a like, please give us a subscribe, share the video and remember, please let your tea bag cool down because we don't want you to burn your ear. So the most... <laughs> so the most...